In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a new alcohol stove setup that I think is going to end up replacing my Trangia, if you can believe that. Stick around. So I wanted to do a quick update video on um, the Trangia stove video that I just released. I think I did that like a week or two ago. Pretty popular video. A lot of people really liked that video, seem to chime in and give their opinions. The, the Trangia alcohol stove um, is a, a tried and true, tested um, survival stove, camping stove, backpacking stove that just plain works. Been around for a very, very long time. Um, heavy duty, um, great features on it. So go back and check that video out. But doing that video, I started thinking about ways I can improve it because I really like the whole concept of an alcohol stove. Like I said in the last video, um, the fuel source for those alcohol stoves is a lot easier to procure than um, gas cartridge stoves or even S-bit stoves. Um, you know, the only stove that's better than that is a, is a stove that utilizes wood. Um, so I had this idea in my mind that I wanted to test out because with the Trangia, you need um, a stand, a pot stand for your uh, cup. Um, and you also should have a windscreen um, because that'll help uh, concentrate the heat and of course keep the wind um, from blowing your flame off of your pot. It just, it controls everything better. So those two items you have to get on top of the Trangia that you, that you purchase. I was looking around um, online and I found a different option for the Trangia. Uh, this is a lighter weight version um, and it has an accessory with it that is absolutely needed. So this is from a company called uh, Kuvik. And what this is, is a Trangia style alcohol stove that is titanium. There it is. And it, it appears to be a pretty well-made little stove. Now, a couple things. The Kuvik does not come with the um, sealed gasket lid that allows you to store fuel in the stove like the, the Trangia does. It does not have the snuffer plate and simmer ring that the Trangia has. So when you put fuel in here and you use it, you have to use it all. Um, but it is nice. There are um, graduation marks on the inside of there. It looks like it says uh, 30 milliliter and 60 milliliter. And then the other side, it's one fluid ounce and two fluid ounces. So that's pretty nice. The Trangia doesn't have that. Of course, it's much lighter weight than the Trangia. Also comes with um, these crossbar stands. So that goes on top and allows you to put your pot directly on top of the stove. Um, and then, of course, the little carry bag. So all in all, pretty nice little setup. Um, it all fits in my 750 milliliter titanium cup. And uh, I've had this cup for a while. This is from Wild Camping International. There's a lot of other brands out there, of course, but this is the one that I use. Um, and I love it. And the stove fits right in there perfectly. But then I got to thinking about what would make the, the stove more versatile. And um, this dawned on me that this product would be a good thing to go with it. This is from Vargo. This is the Hexagon Wood Stove. I've had one of these in the past and they're pretty neat. Um, so there it is. This thing opens up and you just snap it together and you have a little wood burning stove. But what's cool about this is, and what I'm thinking is gonna be the million dollar idea for me anyway, is putting this stove inside there. Now I've got a windscreen. I have a, a support for my pot, but if I run out of fuel, I have a stove that can actually burn wood. 
safely and easily. So it adds to the capability of the stove that I already have. It gives me another option um, and it, by having the titanium hex stove, it doesn't weigh very much. And then the only thing I added to this kit um, is I have this little, little folding titanium um, spork and that fits in the pot too. So it really makes a nice um, compact kit. So let's go ahead and get this thing fired up and see how it does with the hex stove. All right, so the ground, super, super wet. Had to build a little bit of a base um, to set the stove on. Set that in there. And we can open it up. Yep, it's going. And it's going to take a little bit for it to start jetting through those holes. So it's got to, it's got to build up heat. And then it should start firing up pretty good. And then when that happens, see how nicely this little cup fits on top of that hex stove? It's pretty good. So I can really feel the heat on that now. So with that hex stove, it, it's setting up a little bit higher um, than it would if it was on these. <clears throat> so the fire is has a greater distance to travel. It's not as concentrated on the bottom of the pot. Um, so that may affect cook time a little bit. We've got 300 milliliters of water in there and um, it's been cooking for five minutes um, and I don't think I have a boil yet it's getting ready to boil see the little bubbles forming so that's five minutes and it's gonna it's starting to boil already There we go. Rolling boil. Six to seven minutes with the hex stove as the base in the new titanium alcohol stove. And you can see the fuel is almost gone. It's, there's a little bit left in the bottom, but it's burning out. So I didn't have that thing super full um, and I didn't need to, to achieve a boil. Now, if I want to do cook something a little bit longer, of course you add more fuel to it. Um, one thing to note safety wise with these um, stoves, you do not add fuel to these when they are hot. Um, 
You do not add fuel when they are burning. You do not add fuel after you, the fire is out. You let them cool down completely before you add more fuel because you don't want to have an explosion or a bomb happening in your hands um, or a flash or anything. So now it's burnt out. You can actually hear it creaking a little bit because the fuel is all burned out. And then it's completely dry and empty now. So then we'll just let that set and cool down. And then what's the cool thing about the stove is I can open it up a little bit, get some air, let it cool down. So I like the setup. I mean, I've got options now. I've just, I don't just have an alcohol stove. I have a little twig stove that works as well. Um, and also a windscreen all kind of built into one. And, you know, out here today with all this wind, um, it did a really good job of protecting the stove and that water heated up and boiled very quickly. Um, the stove itself, the, the hex cools down really fast like this it's only been a few minutes and it's already cool now the the alcohol stove the kuvik um that's still that's still pretty warm to the touch and you can see the see the coloration of the titanium changing with the fire it's pretty cool i love it great setup May not be like an earth-shattering idea, but it was my idea that I came up with for myself, and it worked out perfectly. I love it. Um, this is going to be going in my bag um, quite a bit. I'm going to be using this a lot this year. Um, it just gives me so many options. Um, there will be links down below to my Amazon store to this stove and the Hex stove and all that stuff if you're interested in it. Um, there will be links to the Facebook group. Prepared Wanderer Facebook group is gigantic. There's just tons of people on there, thousands, and um, it's getting bigger all the time. And then, of course, links to the Prepared Wander website, preparedwander.com, and um, Big Cartel site sells patches and stickers. If you're interested in those, that helps out the channel. But um, hopefully this idea helped you on choosing some gear. Um, if you like this kind of content, please uh, consider subscribing, liking, sharing, all that good stuff. And um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.